Hello. I'm going to show you a funny book today called I Saw a Bullfrog by Ellen Stern. And she takes real life animals and creates funny illustrations about them. So I actually want to skip to the end of the book first and see if you can imagine before we see the illustrations of all of them what it would look like. And each animal has a name that includes two animal names like the bullfrog or the elephant seal, catfish, rhinoceros beetle, rat snake, and deer mouse. And you are welcome to pause and read more about these animals. I'll leave it there. And a lot of them make sense. Like the rhinoceros beetle, you can see it looks like it has a big horn like a rhinoceros. A tiger shark, dragonfly, goose barnacle, a cowbird, and a zebra fish. So again, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the real animal and always pause to read more information. And now let's see what she wrote and illustrated about these animals. All right. I saw a bullfrog perched on a lily. He was bigger than it, so he looked sort of silly. Like a bull, he was sporting a ring in his nose, but his front end had hooves while his back end had toes. Look at the elephant seal. At the circus, I'll go see the elephant seal. Should I take along peanuts or fish for his meal? Do you think he'll have flippers or will he have toes? Will he balance his ball on his trunk or his nose? Catfish. If a catfish could choose, would she snooze on my bed or swim round and round in a fishbowl instead? Would she feel fishy squishy or have fur soft as silk? Would she turn up her nose at a bowl, a bowl full of milk? A rhinoceros beetle. <laughs> the rhinoceros beetle has a horn on his nose, but how many legs has he? Has many toes? How many toes? Is he big as a rhino or buggishly small? Could he live in my bug jar or not fit at all? If a rat snake is named because you are what you eat, then he isn't a critter a rat wants to meet. But if he's more rodent-like, bright-eyed and furry, then other small creatures have no need to worry. Look how the fur turns into scales. The deer mouse. The deer mouse turns out to be terribly shy. Will she squeak with alarm if she sees you walk by? For lunch, might she think that some seeds would be yummy? Or does she prefer leafy greens in her tummy? Ooh. The tiger shark's name sounds so scary to me. It isn't a creature that I'd like to see. Would it pounce from a bush with a terrible roar? Or prowl in the ocean? far out from the shore. If you saw a dragonfly all green and shiny, do you think he'd be huge or would he be tiny? Would he live in the cave that's all scary and dark or flip through the reeds in the pond at the park? You'll find goose barnacles down in the ocean. They don't have webbed feet or their own locomotion. You won't hear them honk. You don't cackle or call. They just have a long, goosey neck, and that's all. I saw a cowbird, but she didn't moo. Look up in that tree there, and you'll see her too. This critter has feathers and never eats hay. If you tried to milk her, she'd just fly away. Do you think that a zebrafish lives in a pool? Might it run in a herd? Does it swim in a school? Does it have fishy scales from its tail to its head? Or look like a horse in striped PJs instead? The end. So I want you to take two or three different animals, and it doesn't have to be like these where the real name has two animal names, but you could take any two or three animals or more and combine them into one animal. And you could give it a funny name if you wanted, like a butter pig, if you put butterfly wings on a pig. And you can be really creative. And if you want to include, like how they had the dragonfly, you can include um, mythical creatures as well. 
into it and make up your own creature. Take your time and don't worry about making mistakes. Good luck.